Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the widespread rain continues on Doppler radar, the cool temps as well, though we briefly came close to 70 before the thicker clouds and showers moved in. High temp today, upper 60s in Providence to around 70 in Smithfield, 71 Taunton, and 71 New Bedford. How about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow? So we do the math, we're talking temps close to 80 tomorrow afternoon. So much improved weather just around the corner, but still dealing with uh, well, rain, cool temps, and low clouds. Eventually some fog. Uh, later tonight, the atmosphere remains very humid in Providence right now. Uh, Oakland Beach, uh, actually they had um, temperature in the low 60s. I don't know why the numbers are not on the screen. But it's in my head. Low 60s in Warwick right now. So most locations are pretty cool. Wet weather continues this evening, often on rain, uh, along with some areas of fog. We're talking about a warm-up for late week. Now, we do have temperatures tomorrow close to 80, but even warmer. In fact, borderline hot come Friday and Saturday, talking temps between 80 and 85. And then all eyes on Memorial Day weekend. The rest of it, Saturday and Sunday and uh, Monday. And we'll talk about that in the seven-day forecast. Some elements of slightly heavier rain, southern part of the state and along on the uh, coastline right now. So light to at times moderate rain, certainly slowing down the even commute, some reduced visibility and some wet roads. This is all sliding off to the east, but it'll take um, until probably the uh, midnight hour for most of this to clear the coastline. Behind that, some clearing and some drier air. However, some patchy fog also overnight. It should uh, burn off rapidly by early tomorrow morning. You see the clearing through the Great Lakes. So tracking this uh, both warm and cold front, and both will act as a mechanism to produce some showers for tonight before that drier air settles in. In fact, you see the warmer temps off to our south, and we'll get a taste of that by tomorrow afternoon. Real nice day and lower humidity, too, so pretty comfortable. In fact, we'll take you through it uh, for tomorrow morning, looking at 62 to start, cloudy start early, but sunshine developing by mid to late morning and certainly during the afternoon and just ultra nice tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80, low humidity and very comfortable. So a beautiful day. Seven day forecast. We bring the temperature down just a smidge on Thursday, but I mean, Thursday is still a nice day. We're thinking a high temperature is going to be topping out between roughly 70 and 75 inland. The beaches look nice, but there may be enough of a sea breeze to keep the temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, but plenty of sunshine. You'll need the sunscreen as the air is nice and dry. And then the warm up kicks in both Friday and Saturday. Both days were indicating temperatures between 80 and 85 as a blast of summer really returns. And then some changes with the temperature for the holiday weekend. Starts off warm. We go back to more seasonable temperatures on Sunday, 72. Still a chance of some scattered showers, though I don't think it's a storm day or a washout. Extra clouds cooler on Memorial Day Monday. At this point, we're looking at temperatures uh, in the upper 60s to near 70 and then back to 80 by Tuesday of uh, next week. So major improvements begin tomorrow afternoon. Thursday looking good. You've got that feel of summer Friday and Saturday. Seasonable temps on Sunday with some scattered showers and a little cooler Memorial Day Monday. Extra clouds and high temps in the upper 60s. I'll be back at 10 and 11 tonight with an updated forecast for the holiday and the morning crew and Michelle in early tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m. to kind of pick up uh, this whole holiday weekend forecast, which starts off pretty warm. All right, sounds good. Thanks.